white and the seven dwarves. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess named Snow White who lived with her evil stepmother, the queen. Snow White always dreamt of being with a handsome prince. However, the queen did not approve. She was jealous of Snow White's beauty. The queen had a magical mirror. She would stand in front of it and shout, Mirror! Mirror on the wall! Who is the fairest of them all? For years, the mirror had always answered, You, my queen. But one day, the mirror replied, Snow White is the fairest of them all. Hearing this, the queen got angry and ordered her huntsman to kill Snow White. But the huntsman did not have the mind to kill her. Instead, he told Snow White to run far away so that the queen would never find her. Snow White ran deep into the woods. She befriended a lot of forest animals. One day, she came across a cottage. She knocked the door, but no one answered. So, she went inside. Seven little dwarves who lived there soon returned home. They were surprised to find Snow White sleeping in their bed. When Snow White woke up, she introduced herself to the dwarves. The dwarves told her their names. Doopy, Sneezy, Happy, Grumpy, Duck, Bashful and Sleepy. Snow White told them her story and the dwarves agreed to let her stay. Snow White looked after the house while the dwarves worked during the day. The queen soon learned that Snow White was still alive. She was furious. She drank a magic potion and disguised herself as an old lady. One day, after the dwarves had left for work, the disguised queen came to the cottage and offered Snow White a red poisoned apple. As soon as Snow White took one bite, she fell into deep sleep. The queen cursed Snow White that only true love could break this curse. The dwarves watched over her day and night. One day, a handsome prince appeared. He kissed Snow White. The spell broke. Snow White woke up. They returned to his kingdom and lived happily ever after. This is the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Hope you liked it. We'll come with another good story. Thank you so much.